Hi, it's Anna here, also known as the Crappy Childhood Fairy. And I wanted to talk today about the feeling of being safe. And obviously, we want to feel physically safe, but this video isn't about that kind of safety. I'm talking about feeling emotionally safe, which can be so important for those of us with childhood PTSD and so hard to find. So when someone says they don't feel safe, and again, I want to just focus on emotional safety, usually what they mean by that is they want to feel protected from attack in the form of criticism or judgment or ridicule or confrontation like yelling, right? Or from getting put down or left out or ignored. All of these things can be really hurtful for really anyone, but for us, it can be extra harsh and we get triggered. And getting triggered into dysregulation can set us back for hours or days if we're not careful. It can cost us our equilibrium. We can't concentrate. We could be struggling with anger or just getting thrown for a loop with negative emotions. So one place where you might hear safety as a really important value is in a session with a therapist or in a support group. And in that setting, there would be a really strong set of rules governing how communication is handled. Lots of listening and open-ended questions with a non-judgmental attitude, no criticism, just openings for discussion, very gentle. And that's really important. But when you're not in a therapy setting and you're just in real life at work or in a classroom or hanging out with a group of people, are you able to feel safe? It's easier for some people than others, right? But this is one of the most best things about the daily practice that I teach. When I write fears and resentments and then meditate a couple times a day, I'm a lot more neutral to whatever people might throw at me. And if I do get a bit hurt about something and my hands start to go numb or my mind starts going chaotic, which is dysregulation kicking in, right? I can notice it and start taking steps to get re-regulated right away. And that is what safety is. Whatever is going on around me, I am more neutral. And I know that if anything ruffles my feathers, I can quickly get regulated again. So I'm safe. Now I know it can take some time to master this. And sometimes it's just better to stay out of upsetting situations. But developing this inner safety that keeps me feeling okay, regardless of what other people say and do, because they're gonna say and do all kinds of stuff. That is my true safety. And you'll find that this is a way more effective approach to increasing your safety than an approach we might go to by instinct, which is to try to make other people make us feel safe by not saying certain things or demanding that they respond to us in a very particular way. It's impossible to really control another person to that degree. And even if you could, no one wants to feel controlled. When someone does this to you, it's a killer for any sense of camaraderie or feeling like you can just be yourself and be accepted. Everyone wants to feel accepted for being themselves. And it kind of works two ways. Everyone deserves a chance to say things that come out wrong. And maybe people laugh or maybe people make a disapproving face or they lose a friend. But that's how we all learn. We get to be ourselves and we get to learn from that experience. Okay, so obviously there are limits. People being threatening or, for example, sabotaging you in front of your colleagues with put downs and gossip. That's not someone just being themselves. That's actual harm. And you can call them on it. But if you simply don't like someone's point of view or you have strong memories that come up around certain topics, just consider dealing with that on your side of the street and not trying to mandate what other people can and can't talk about. When you can keep calm inside, and have your wits about you, it can't really hurt you. It's generally your own reaction that hurts you the most. You can let it blow over and you can let the other person's behavior, if it's so awful, speak for itself. You're going about your business poised while someone else spouts off. Everyone knows what to think about that. So, intercom, that is your safety.